it's a scary world we live in, chat, where we're gonna not only get, like, like we've already seen Yordle, Yordle Swarm, now we're gonna see Face Swarm as well. Bandle Scouts are taught that if you're not ready for everything, you're not ready for anything. Great teaching. Run, little guy, run! One mana, five, five. It's OP. Wait, what? But the best adventures are usually the ones you never expected to take. You can't bring him to the camp. I think it's okay to not have all the answers. You just need the courage to keep looking. Uh huh. Oh, and friends to keep you out of trouble while you do. I can't wait to see where the next journey leads. That's awesome. That's awesome, chat. Listen, I got one question, though. When are we getting a Tito animated series? I'm serious. Bandle City Adventures or something. I don't know. Like, I like, I like seriously, that's like, that's, it's like the best cartoon IP you could ever imagine. Never maybe. They're going to make it for sure. It's too good of an IP. That would be amazing. It would really be amazing. Like Bandle City Adventures, like the Scouts Code, and there's so much you could do with that. It could be a kid's show as well. It doesn't have to be an adult show at all. Hothead. Three mana, four, two. The stats kind of suck. Um, but it is a Yordle. Eh. Attack. Grant the top champion in your deck plus one, plus one. Wait, why Fiora chat? I don't understand. Like, no. That's really good with Poppy. This fixes the Poppy nerf a lot. But it's not necessarily great with Poppy. Uh, Sivir works, I guess. Yeah, because it's the same region as well. This could be pretty good with Sivir. Still, here's the problem. I'll, I'll explain the problem to you. This this unit doesn't want to attack. Uh, it's a 4-2. It gets blocked by a 1-drop, right? You're trading a 3-drop to a 1-drop. It doesn't really want to attack. Because the stats suck. This is a good blocker. It's not a good attacker. I'm not sure. Mm, it's okay. Echo predicts synergy. You don't really need the echo keyword in plus one plus one. Stress defense helps a lot. Yeah, but like, are you really committing a three mana stress defense for this effect on a card that's not even in your hand? I don't know. I'm not sold. I'm not sold on how good it is. It's a really cool concept. It, it's really cool with Braum, for example. Let's see if you're playing mono Braum for some reason in one of these two regions. Maybe Braum likes this. I, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. But uh, I, I don't think it's that great. Because it's, it's cards in your deck, not in your hand, right? So you might not even draw that champion for the foreseeable future. It's a, it's an anti-tempo card. All right. Four mana fast spell. This is kind of exciting to see. I feel like this is going to be a good card just from the image. Recall an ally. Really? Four mana recall an ally? The next ally you play this round with equal or less cost. Cost zero instead. Oh, that's interesting. Holy crap. No, 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 there, there's, there's some really cool things you could do here. There's some really cool ideas. Like, Matron fits really cool with this. Um, because, like, eight cost Yeti could fit, correct? I was thinking about that one, but I'm thinking if there's anything else here. Matron's kind of cool. Ice Pillar is a really cool one, I agree. Uh, I, I gotta think about this, though. I think Yeti is the fastest way to do it. I'm thinking of spells. What spells can summon something really, really expensive? Like, War Mothers is too light. Remembrance is only a 5 cost. It's horrible with Marauders. Unlicensed of Innovation is a 5 cost, I think. I don't think it's a 6 cost. Oh, it is a six cost. Never mind. That's that's interesting. Mana three can play a six cost card. Recall it mana four to get two mana advantage. Uh, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. 
possession. I was thinking of tribeam. Yeah, tribeam is um one of them that you could sort of ramp it up, but I don't know if you want to play that in tribeam. Tribeam is one way to maybe maybe skamaz your opponent. Yeah, I think it's gonna be like a Mina Swift foot card, basically. That that's why I didn't find it. I was looking for a four mana tribeam. It costs five. Never mind. That's why I couldn't find the card. Pursuit of Perfection. <laughs> oh, it's a one cost. Never mind. The Watcher doesn't work. Yeah, it's only the Yeti or Mina Swiftfoot, I think. Those are the main ones. But uh, in general, I like the card a lot. That's a very, very strong control card. It's a strong control card. It's a free save my champion, basically. As long as you're not like placing massive amount of buffs on your champion. So doubling this down does nothing. You can't get double the value for Karma, unfortunately. This is pseudo go get it. It is. Yes. Isn't this worse than go get it, though? I mean, go get it is one more mana. Whereas this gives you the option to play a different unit. I don't know. It's a cool card overall. I just don't know how good it is. Like, I've already had go get it on Mina Swiftfoot, right? Yeah, I'm not sure. It's a very cool card to exist, though. I, I, I kind of like the card. I'm not sure how I feel about it, though. All right, three mana burst with a shield. I'm guessing this is a buff. It's No, if it was Grant, this would be broken beyond all belief. It's not horrible. It's pretty good in um, decks that have quick attack as well. Like, you have to keep in mind what region it is. And we don't have that much um, buff power in Battle City, do we? It's not bad. It's good with Poppy. Yeah, it's good with Poppy before attacking. I agree. Um, Spirit Portal. Focus 4 mana. To play, discard 1. Grant all allies plus 1 plus 1. Uh, I'm going to tell you why it's pretty... I'm going to show you why I think it's pretty good. So, here's the thing. If we look at Vanguard Bannerman, right? 4 mana. Grant all allies 1-1. One, one. This comes with a body, right? It comes with a 3-3 three, three body. But the thing, the thing about this card in general is you can open attack with it. Like, usually if you're playing like early Yordles, early Lulu decks, you'll be ahead on board. And you like to open attack with that, those decks if you, if you have a couple of units on the board. That's a very strong open attack buff. Like, adding this, this can push like five more damage to face in like Poppy, sorry, in Lulu, like Lulu, Lulu aggro. It's pretty strong. And it gets everything out of range of removal, right? It's not just an attack buff, it's an HP buff. I think this is solid. Vision is good because it gives more damage on the board, but this also gives more survivability. Vile Feast no longer is as good as it was. Mystic Shot is no longer as good as it was. Like I think this is really good for tempo decks. Because often you do want to open attack versus certain decks. Versus Freldia, you'd want to get um, Avalanche. Versus... Shadow Elves, you don't want to get Ruination versus... Uh, there's so many times you want to open attack. In Tempo decks, in mid-range decks, in Lulu decks, I think this is solid. Vision combo could be interesting. I'll give you that. Three mana Yordle Portal Burst to play discard one. Manifest a Yordle that costs three or less and some... I mean, even more reason. Look at that. Look at your open attack now. Burst out a Yordle on board, and then Spirit Portal, and then attack with everything. That's scary. That's that's actually scary. Um, now, I'm guessing you can't manifest champions. Otherwise, that would be OP. So what are the three-cost Yordles that are really good? Um, impact. Ooh, Thunderfist. Thunderfist could be pretty cool with that. Holy crap. That would be very interesting. That would be a very interesting Thunderfist play. Mentor is not horrible. Fuzzy Caretaker is really strong. Um, Babbling Bellotters is not bad. This is really good. Um, this is really solid. That, that's, a, that's a really good play. It, it, it feels really strong if I can combine this with this. I like it. Now, there's a lot of discard synergy, but I've already built a... Um, I've already built a Mecha Yordle deck that doesn't even run that much discard fodder. It runs a bit. You don't need that much. This looks very solid. I like this a lot. This is a this is a very strong combo, I think, together. So I, I think this card makes this card even better. Because you had no way to open attack. 
Now you have a better way to open attack. You, you build an even bigger board. Pretty scary. For seven mana, yeah, it's not that expensive. You can do that on mana four. If you wanted to for some reason. Like, think about this, chat. Um, Yordle Portal onto the 0-2, um, what is it called? The one that gives, uh, when, when I'm discarded, summon me. The 0-2 Challenger, right? With Poppy on board. All of a sudden, now you have... This is just... Listen, 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 listen to this, chat. Pass, pass, Lulu. Mana 4. You discard the 0-2. It gets someone on board. You get a 2-4 on board. Now you have 3 units on board. You pop this down. You get um, a 4-4 four, four Lulu. You have a... For something Yordle, you have a 1-2 Chomper, you buff the Chomper, you've got a gigantic board. I mean, they have Flame Chompers. Like, this is this is solid. It's it's, it's a scary idea in um, in the Lulu deck I was talking about. This with Flame Chompers with this, like, even on mana 4, you've got a pretty crazy attack. So, I, I, I do think this is this is solid. And this is solid as well, because it, it you can do all of this while open attacking. I mean, I mean that's if you skip turns 1 and 2. But what about mana 5 or 6, right? At that point, it's even stronger. I'm just saying if you do end up passing turns one and two. Fey Aid. Three mana <laughs> card. It is a burst, three mana cost card. Create a hungry owl cat in hand, and then grant Fey allies in hand plus one plus one. Oh, squirrels are Fey's. Well, that's not a squirrel, brother. That is, though. Eh, you you need a lot more phase support for that to be a playable card. I think you need you need you need more support for phase. I mean, it's giving you a uh, a three two hungry L cat to be fair, but you need more phase. So let's see if there's more. Speak of the devil, more phase. Gleaming lantern, three mana, three three horrible status. Each round, the first phase you play. Excuse moi. Okay, listen. It's good, but it might actually be beyond broken. Can does that mean the round you played as well? Can you play a two mana cost after you play this on three? I'm guessing not. I'm guessing there's no way that works that way. How does Mayor work? Oh no. Oh no, dude. Oh. Does it count itself? I don't think I don't think it should. Okay, let's... What happens... Okay, so what happens if you do this? What happens if I, um... If I cast... If What happens if I if I play, um... Let's say... Bomber Twins, and then I play Mayor afterwards, and then I play another Bomber Twins. I'm pretty sure the next Bomber Twins is still discounted after Mayor. The only question is, does it count itself? I don't know. We can't know until we, until we test it, but this, this card is insane. This card actually makes phase worth playing, possibly. Let me see if there are more phase to see. Faye, two mana, two, two. Play, give me barrier this round or grant me a... Oh my goodness, that's that's so strong. That's pretty decent. It's it's very versatile. I still don't understand what... um. It's not that strong. It's uh, it's versatile because um, this is good for pushing phase damage. It's good for blocking damage. It's good for swarming. Like I'm guessing phase want to swarm... It also sets up your win con, right? Which is the big Fey dude. Like, you can play this dude in mana 5. It's crazy. What if you have two of the guys on board? Does that mean your next Fey costs 4 less? This could be a 3 drop. Yeah, what if you have two of these? That's crazy. What if you have three of them? You can play the three copies in one run 4. Listen... Mana 3, you drop this guy. Mana 4, you drop another one of these guys, which costs only 1 mana, and you still have 3 mana to develop. Like, this can, this can go crazy, because this guy actually, like, oh my lord. You might even play this with P and Z, and go for, like, um... You go for... For, like, iterative improvement, right? Like, you, you just might, you might want to just create copies of that guy. Why not? He's that good. Like, you might just run, like, triple iterative, and, um, you just... Because anything you're copying is just going to be cheap and super good and useful and has more stats and like, you, you you might you might build some really really crazy boards. This this might be a swarmy as hell powerhouse of a board. 
And now, now cards like this, where you just keep your entire board alive, look solid as well. And P and Z is uh, discard, so... Oh my goodness, there, there's some crazy stuff you're going to be able to do. This, this actually makes... I mean, I was going to say meh, but all of a sudden, all phase in hand, plus one, plus one, and you... Oh my lord, it's so strong. Yeah, and then you just want to have more phase to swarm with. Sure, I'll take you. This impact's actually pretty good because um, you, if this is your, one of your win cons, you want to be able to hit the Nexus four times. And impact is pretty useful for that. Two mana, one, two. Grandfather Fey. When I'm summoned, create a hungry Alcat in hand. When you summon another Fey, granted plus one plus zero. It's not bad. It's actually pretty solid. In a way. Because it gives you cards, right? Like it's a it's a two mana one two draw a card. Uh, you want to draw hungry outcasts. You want to fill your your hand with phase, right? And because you you might be playing things like this, it just gives you cards. You just want to go wide early. So weaker explorer, yeah, but it gives you a card. That's the thing. It creates a hungry outcat in hand, which is solid. It draws you a fae, basically. Yes, it gives you a one drop to go wider. Iceborn. Well, I think you want to go for um P and Z probably, but possibly. Face Sprout. Manifest the Fae and Granted plus one plus one. That's not bad. I mean, I'll take it. My goodness. And we got all the Fae cards here. Thank you, Tams. It's a scary world we live in, chat. Where we're going to not only get, like, like we've already seen Yordle, Yordle Swarm. Now we're going to see Face Swarm as well. Pretty scary. And we already know how hard it is to deal with Hungry Alcats. We have so many more ways to generate them now, right? We can make them out of this. We can make them out of the burst summon cards. Uh, even picks. Picks is picks good? I don't know. Iceborn hungry Alcat. I was thinking possibly yes. This is this is cool. I'm worried. I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. I'm I'm worried. I'll tell you why I'm worried. It's, it's cards like this. That make things like Avalanche less and less useful. It's it's uh, it worries me a little bit. It's cards like it, there's there's there's. I I think I think I I don't know how the devs are gonna do it, but we're falling behind in the days where Avalanche used to work. Remember you guys remember Avalanche? You remember how when you would be playing Aggro and you would face like Freljord, you would be shivering in your boots by the by the time they got their fourth mana. Like, you'd be like, holy crap, they have Avalanche mana. Is my life over? I must open it. You know, you used to be afraid of Avalanche. Now Avalanche is like, what, deal two to my 2024 drops? No, I'm fine. I'll survive. Uh, in general, it's going to be tough. It's going to be very tough, guys. I mean, one mana, one mana with, yeah. It's uh, it's going to be a little bit difficult. The cool thing about Fate 8 is um, you have so much mana advantage that you can actually just play this not care too much you'll recover. Like, let's say you play this on mana 2. Pass, mana 2, you drop this down. Mana 3, you just play Gleaming Lantern, you play the zero cost... Uh, you, you'll, you'll catch back up, it doesn't matter. Like, l l l imagine a world like this. Mana 1, pass. Mana 2, play Fey Aid. And you have a 4-4 four, four, um, Gleaming Lantern in hand. Mana 3, you drop down a 4-4, four, four, and then you play a 2 mana cost Fey that also costs 0. It was also buff plus 1 plus 1 originally. So you have a... Mana 3, you literally play a 4-4. Four, four, and you play a 3-5 on mana 3, chat. No, sorry, that doesn't work. Let's say you play um this. Bandle, um, Bandle Commando. So you're playing a 4-4 four, four, and a 2-3 Elusive on mana 3, by the way. And your entire hand is buff plus 1 plus 1. It's so strong. Then mana 4 comes around. This costs 2 mana to drop. So you drop down a 3-5 and another 2-3. Like, everything is mega buffed. Every turn, you get minus two mana. So you get two mana for free every turn. That's not a fey. Oh, you're, you're urdles. Oops. All right, fine. Loping telescope or whatever. Like, it's still a 3-2, right? Um, let me have a look at the phase. All right, so yeah. Mana three, you play a 4-4 four, four Gleaming Lantern and a 3-3 three, three, this dude. Or you play a... Uh, a 2-3, this dude getting a Hungry Alcat in hand. I mean, there's just so many things you can do. 
It, it's such a strong board state. I don't even know how you stop a 4-4 four, four mana 3 unit. Like like this one that gives you so much mana. Like, it, it's gain 2 mana per turn. That's crazy. Now, if he can't play a unit after this on the same turn, it's a lot weaker. I'll give you that. But um, still. Jack, we don't know. You guys are saying as if you know these things. You don't know. You don't know if it procs itself. You can't test with mayor because the mayor is not proccing himself, chat. The mayor is not double region. There's no way to give double region to mayor. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain this like you're five. Yes, you can try to play a double region card first, then mayor, and then play a double region card after. It doesn't matter, because what we're asking is, does the fact that you're playing the effect and the region? or fate in the same time invalidate itself? That's the question. We don't care one way or the other. That is the question. Is playing it in the same time, what goes off first? Does the fact that this is on the board and then this appears as a thing happen, or does this as a thing happen and then this drops on the board already invalidating the next one? We just don't know which one of these two happens first. And we have no way to know. Anyway. If you're able to play a second fate after playing this, it's beyond broken. If you're not able to do that, then it's less broken. I'll put it that way. Does that make sense, chat? I hope I, I hope I explained that properly. All right. That is it for the new cards, it seems. Oh! Holy crap, they're right! Chat, type one if that's genius. League of Legends players hide their mini-maps so the snipers can't, can't win. I should do the same. That's genius. Let's do it. I'm going to do it, chat. I'm going to do it right now. Ready? All right. Here we go. All right. Now they can't see my hand. We're good, boys. We're good. Oh. Oh. Holy moly. I got Rex. I, 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 just, I just licked my hand. I just licked my hand.